John Ludwig of the Say Kosher Show Right Kai. Every week, we're going to take a look at a technique from James Mateusse's book, What is Self Defense? We're going to explore the technique or the waza, and then we're going to look at its bonkai and concepts and applications. I hope you enjoy. Okay, another, another technique from Mateusse's escaping uh, techniques. Uh, this one is now uh, dealing with a two to one, like a double wrist wrap. Uh, now, the interesting part here when he goes to grab two to one is in this book, he's not trying to struggle with this hand. That's the important part about being grabbed. You, you remember, you have to remember, you have this free hand here. If I start struggling and start struggling with this, all I'm really going to do is give my opponent out. Uh, so, the way Mitose has, has us deal with this is we're going to move stuff. We're going to move all parts of our bodies that he doesn't have control over, such as my opposite foot. So he could be shaking and pulling and being very violent with me, and I can, I can sit with my opposite foot very, very easily, as long as I relax. So in this technique, for, the verbatim on this technique, is he's stepping in and he's using an elbow, uh, stepping in and using an elbow with the left to the center of the body. And then stepping back to cover fist position to release. You know, bonkai here, and bonkai never really looks exactly like a technique. So the important part here is a few things. So one, if I believe my opponent wants, if I want to put something between me and my opponent, I might put my hand out here, and he might grab it. At the very least, he has to deal with this, right? And in our case, in this tech, for the purposes of this technique, you're going to do a two-to-one grab, assuming your opponent's not very smart. Because a two-to-one grab is not a very good tactical move on our opponents. And let's just call a spade a spade there. So as this comes in, we're what? So we want to bait him a little bit. We want to stretch him out. If we can do that now, we can move any other aspect. So this arm can move, this foot can move. I could move this foot, but if I do, I'm kind of engaging this arm. And if I engage this arm, I give him power. I give him something to pull on, and I want to do that. So as so as I'm here, especially he starts pulling, if he pulls in, that's where this can come in. Very simply, very relaxed. But the important thing is, do not engage this. It doesn't need to be engaged, because this release can happen very simply and very easily. Uh, there are much more advanced uh, bunkai and more advanced maneuvers that we can do here uh, that are, frankly, very hard to show on a video. And, uh, uh, but they are quite effective, and they work very well. And again, if you want to learn more, uh, you know, contact me or sign up for a course, and, and we would be more than happy to, to work with you there. So one more, as the grab comes in, here's a key points. Do not engage the contact point. Don't engage that arm at all. Move something else. And as you move something else, you have all sorts of other great things that you can do if you need them. If you don't wish to cause harm, if this is a a different kind of situation, uh, the opponent pulls, then you can step behind them. And you can, as long as this arm is relaxed, you can go wherever you need to go. That's the key. And if you, as soon as you engage this arm, you give them power. Take their power away. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to learn more, Please follow the link in the description that will take you to my coursework on understanding what is self-defense. Domo arigatou gozaimasu.